Hi uh, everybody, welcome back to Borderlands 2. My name is Mikey Dubs, and in today's video we're playing more Rogue Lance Mini, going for wins, 100% tryharding, until I can get back in form, because I, I think I got a little bit cocky, I think it was last week where I got four wins in a row, I'm like, I, I got this game figured out. Since then, it's been kind of, you know, kicking my butt a little bit. The character to do it for us is Gage. Got a new seed, randomized skills. Gage, in my opinion, because of Death Trap, has the most flexibility with any of the other characters. Death Trap is not an integral part of, I would say, like, Gage's overall. I think he's more just a, a stat stick, a kind of a bonus. The fact that he just, just simply tanks aggro is broken. So. That's what he's going to be doing for us, hopefully, in this run. I've definitely had my most success with Gage in the Rogue Lands mini mod and in Rogue Lands in general. Even with base characters, I feel like Gage is, is is pretty broken. With randomized skills, we have yet, is yet to be seen. I see Scorn, which is a great slagging tool. It's, it's, it's really an exceptional slagging tool. And I see Boar, which is a great bossing tool. Amazing, amazing bossing tool. Boar plus the nth degree has some real serious, like, chain reaction deflection shenanigans going on. So we know, we know now that we have the damage for the late, for the late game. What can we do to keep us alive right now? You would say, well, that's an easy choice, brother. It's hard to kill. But we can't just go no damage. <clears throat> we need damage. So do we get a, a weapon here that we think can carry us early with damage? Now that override cooldown, right? Relic, that's just not going to be it for us. Uh, Cooldown rate right in melee? Day? I just don't see it. Some Something to help a, a weapon type could be nice. But I think this, honestly, the shield one that I just got is, is pretty sick. Okay, so let's let's pick a primary weapon at least. Let's just do that. That trap you're about to despawn anyway. Could you get out of my inventory space? Thank you. I think taking a slag weapon in the second spot makes a lot of sense. This Hyperion SMG has, I think, decent stats. Two hundred thirty-six thousand damage. With a high fire rate and a decent magazine size. Launcher in four, and slot three is util for now. You'll teal for now, but let's let's take a second candidate for, for the number one spot. I think the, I think this banded pistol, honestly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, first five points. This is Rogue Lance Mini, in case you're wondering why I get five points in and maybe in your game you're not getting this question a lot in the YouTube comments. Rogue Lance Mini. That is what it'd be doing. I personally like that change and okay we, we chose to take we chose to take all defense and we run into an ultimate badass loader just want to put that out there if we did not have death trap we wouldn't be in a lot of trouble here we, we might be in trouble anyway gotta land crits here crits are a must this is a very hard boss Okay, don't want to get pinned without cover or anything like that. I'm not sure if it's just a toss nades angle or what. Okay, there's one arm gone. One arm gone. A lot of their offensive power, I feel like, goes down when these guns go down. Because then they don't get that minigun attack, which stops your shield up. Really not cool the game to give me this boss, by the way. Just want to put that out there. Maybe I gotta put more respect on the, the Malawan snipers for just being pure slagging tools. That's a, that's a pretty nice one-shot slag right there. Uh, I was betting on myself that I could destroy that arm in time, but... It's gotta be close though, right? Popping? Yeah. Okay. Played a little bit aggressive there, but... I was just because we wanted to... That's a nice one-shot slag. Okay, is that a booster I just saw fall on the ground? 
Ooh, but barely missed me. This is probably just a launcher situation, honestly. Need to reload this gun anyway. Looks like with just, a, just, just, just this attack, it looks like he's not really that capable of taking me down. He will keep spamming it. As long as I keep dodging it. I can dodge it with an ordinary strafe. Yeah, this is this is eternal. Let's give this bandit pistol a try. Look at this. Look at this absolute tank. As long as I don't put myself up against the wall. Okay. Let's end him. Did you chuck me? Oh my gosh, this guy is... T he's a tanky lad. He is one tanky lad. Holy cow. Okay. I'm gonna keep going with the with my rack of shell here for, for slagging purposes. And for just basic combat, I think. The Corinthian sniper is gonna be nice for this zone, too. Let's, let's put it in my backup slot. And just maybe make it my primary. Just for a second. Gotcha. I wish I didn't have to take that last shot. I want to conserve ammo, but it is what it is. Okay, we got somebody right on top of me. One arm. I knocked back to the left. It's okay. Shield's still good. Maybe even use, if he breaks my shield, it's going to say use my spike. I hurt him. Shotgun damage plus 36% gives us a weapon archetype to build around. If we want it. Break through the shield, then the armor will be gone. There we go. A lot of shots for a basic enemy, but it is what it is. We can go ahead and help death, death Trap with the main effort now, which is the absolute most crazy, ridiculous part of it all. I probably sh I was going for a crit on that guy, but I probably shouldn't have been. Oh, come on, get back here. There we go. He's gone. Kind of like, and I still got 43 shots remain. I'm sorry. Yeah, fi uh, I'm not sure what my mouth was there. I was, maybe I picked up ammo. Was I, like, I double checked my math, and I was like, is that even close to the right number? I think it's. If I'm reading this UI correct, I have 53 total shots. I'm sure that you guys are looking down there and you see my Mikey Dub symbol. I mean, if you haven't subscribed and you're here, it's, we're doing the same thing. Uh. The problem with the blue Jacob snipers is that their fire rate is atrocious for the same damage that you get with a green or a purple. And that, and that's just, that's the honest truth of the matter. Um, I think it's interspersed outburst next for us. Do I have anything in tier two? It's a real game changer. Not really either. It's, it's really beyond tier two where I start, you know, getting some decent stuff like no kill, like overkill. Lay waste, do or die. And then beyond that is where my true power lies. So my true power lies near the end of my skill tree. It's kind of like a regular build, which I kind of wish. I kind of wish that this uh, cross skill randomizer scaled its power. You know what I mean? So like capstones would be almost always at capstones. People call the middle ones game changers, but it's like I call it like the mid the mid-tree augment, or like a mid-tree semi-capstone, you know? Is that Calling them game changers doesn't really make sense to me. Um, interspersed outburst is nice, especially because I don't have scorn yet. Fleet is nice too, but I think I'm going to take the burst damage with some interspersed outburst. I'm gonna be don't I'm not gonna be in the street for that long. It's just to get me through this early game portion here. Extra health regen, I'm not sure how much it helped us there, but I'm sure it did help us at least a little bit. Just saying. I've also been seeing more people. I, I think I saw Joel Stu drops another Rogue Lands video. And I saw um Holy Milk. That's holy as in like Wholesome holy. So like W H O L L Y milk. I think that's how he spells it. Uh 
might be one L. But they dropped Rogue Lance videos. I didn't watch all of either of them. I watched, I would say, about half of Jolts' vid. Maybe a little bit more. Um, and I, I, I mean, I saw some Easter eggs that I have not seen before. He's like, no one's seen this. I'm like, okay, okay. Yeah, dude, I'm getting, I'm catching strays on Jolts videos. Start the drama. He, he said, I've, I've been watching a lot of people and no one has gotten this. Okay. If he's watching a, a lot of people, that means he's into the content, which means he's probably watching. He's, he's at least watched over an hour of me playing the game. Come on. You gotta give it to me. Either way, he's, I'm catching strays. Saying no one's found it. All right, I have, I'll find it. But like they were in the most obvious locations. That was like the craziest part. It's like places you are all the time. And I'll show you guys some when I get there. Come get in there. But dang, this is completely called out. It's okay though. We'll make him proud here with this run. Dude, the dude was, he goes to Roguelands proper and he pulls out Salvador and he one shots dragons. Like, he, the dude thinks he's so good. Oh my gosh. He thinks he's so good at the game. Oh my gosh. I know every combo and I can just one shot dragons. Yo, show up. Show up to the randomized skills. Show up to, abusing Salvador isn't impressive, bro. Show up to the randomized skills. Let's 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 see let's see what you can do because I'm out here. I only have a certain amount of hours to record videos. Okay, I'm out here, and sometimes you get you get the magic button. It's like, oh my gosh, look, these are this is amazing seal combo. It's interesting. It tons, tons, does tons of damage. It's like most of the time it involves money shot or boar, uh, which is not a bad thing. Very amazing things. And sometimes you're out, I'm out here. I'm like, okay, I have every single payout for letting enemies on fire without a real good way to light enemies on fire okay and that takes up about half my skill tree what do i got left over that being said i shouldn't complain i got a really nice shotgun here all i'm saying is if, if jolts is gonna if jolts is gonna make a video of him trouncing the rogue lands when he said in his intro video that I also rewatched, because I was just, just trying to see, did I miss anything? Because I saw a comment of people talking about if you make it to the vendors. I don't remember going to the vendors. So I was like, I got to go back and watch it. Where are the vendors? But I went back and watched some, and Jolt said that he's beaten the, the mods several times without Moxie weapons, which I 100% uh, agree with. I, I think I've beaten it a couple times. Without one of them was with Axon for sure. But if I searched long enough, I could find it. I actually didn't have Moxie weapons. I don't believe. Cooldown rate is really nice for when you need it. Like right now, when my cooldown is, is active, but I'll be getting my action skill back once the next round starts anyway. Let's go. I mean, we have a lot of health regen. I mean, sustenance comes in here. But at some point, I think I'm lacking damage. I do or die is helpful. I really, I really do not have anything that deals significant damage. I mean, headshot increases our crit, lay waste. But it looks like honestly, it's onslaught. That's the more, that's going to be the more consistent option here. I think I think something here makes sense, actually though. Fleet, a ton of health regen. Do I have any more health regen anywhere? No, it's just tough. Because there's definitely a lot more, a lot more very like a lot more ways to get it as well. But I can also rock a instead of a, a shield capacity, a max health relic. And all, all of a sudden, like, my health is actually going up at an okay rate all the time. With hard to kill. And sustenance. And I, if I attach fleet to that, it's like, okay, what, what, how can you kill me? It's, it's like, brother, the next round's gonna kill you. 
<laughs> oh, man. Don't check the timestamps of the videos. I had someone say, hey, can you, can you, like, um, like, figure out how to not spoil it with the time of the video, whether or not you failed the run? I was like, dang, I was thinking about it. I was like, it's probably a way. But I'm, and then I started thinking, I, I, I'm not sure if I can, if I can be structuring my videos around that. Like, if, if you've made a game to that point, which, I'll be honest, I, I'm, I'm not gonna say I've never done that for people. Like, oh, I can tell this, this Northern Lion video is about half an hour long. Uh, I can, I can usually tell that if he's playing Bellatro, it's, it's probably not going the distance, and if it is, it's, it's gonna have to start early. Add a couple resets. Um, if you've watched him on Gold Stake, add a couple resets, you know it's not going the distance, and all of a sudden the thumbnail and titles start making sense. Which is something I'm trying to have create in my thumbnail and titles. I want it to always be a part of the experience of the video. Which is sometimes hard to capture because I'm just, I'm just not good at it. Ideation phase is one of my, I mean, it's definitely my weakest asset as a content creator. And of course, just te technical skill is super down, super low, but we do what we can. Let's go for Onslaught is to give us the deeps that we that we currently require. I think it's a must take in the situation. Lob corrosive transfusion it gives us a transfusion grenade that can help us. Singularity though, make sure we take one of those. Someone must have been screaming. I have a, I ha I do have one solid helpful fan, chatter, commenter, ally. He's been reminding me. Make sure you take those singularities early if you have Bora. Okay, I'm here, brother. I, I hear you. I'm with you. I agree with you. I picked one up for you. All right, we go under this ramp over here. This is the new, one of my newest um, pressure pad n spots. Another chatter. Bada bing, bada boom. Ooh, a little Gatling gun action. That's that's definitely a a candidate for the number one spot. I do have a shotgun damage relic that I can pop on. If I really need to pump out some more deeps. The electric chair grenade does pop off, especially because we have extra grenade damage. Longbow transfusion for the for the big deeps. Or big heals, I should say. Okay, so this electric chair should basically carry us uh, to this next part here. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. Make sure I, I sell a lot of corrosive in my weapon slots. I'm not sure I really want that. So the number one weapon is going to be this diversification, followed up by this. This is a close range area. I think I kind of want close range slag. So as much as I want, want the racket shell, 56.3%. I think I would rather have the... I swear I had a Malawan pistol, slag pistol. Maybe it was a weapon that I gate I didn't take. If we need slag, we've got it. Over the Hyperion pistol, I would say. And... Against armor targets, let's just swap down to this SMG. Alright, Death Trap first. He tanks. Hey, I said he tanks. Okay, well, you had your chance to live, buddy. Now you're gonna learn it. Okay, drop this down here. We just run for our life for now. We don't have to worry about a thing. Electric chair is a is a Merv with multiple Teslas, I believe. But the outside ones, I think, just blow up when they're done. That's the one thing that keeps this thing balanced, that it can kill you. Can do it. Does the middle one damage you is what I want to know. When it pops, it does. So all, both the middle and the outside ones, little um, extra bulbs, they all damage you. If, if you're around them when they blow up. What's the radius like? Ooh, that's pretty dangerous. I'm playing with fire right now. Don't be inside them when they blow up. Got it. New strategy. Don't be inside them when they blow up. 
You never might, you might not have heard of that one, but it's typically useful when you're using grenade spam. He's like, hey, I resist. <laughs> not anymore, you don't. If you think about it, he kind of does resist in a weird way. Let's just not even go there. Okay. I got one grenade. I got two grenade. I got three grenade. I got four. Now, Assassin Roof is no more. So let's check our, our unique here after that blows up. I'm guaranteed one. A deadly bloom. It's, it's funny, at least. I watched a Mr. TX01 live stream where he was doing... You would think that this... Hold on real quick. Do you think that this this uh, bandit bombardier would be the goaded one? This this uh, blue one in front of me? But mine is better damage. Or it's it's the same damage with more mag size by one. I think I keep, I, I keep my current one. Fire rate minus mag size doesn't really make a lot of sense to me. Was the assault rifle damage one at least has a place? Okay. I think this tree is good. I embrace the pain makes sense to me. We could keep keep up fleet for longer and just go for lifesteal tactics. I mean, I could really out overdo it with with lifesteal spam and at one point in fleet. Lifesteal spam makes a lot of sense to me. I should have taken the other one. That's okay. Uh, do I care about shooting buckets? I think I do, because if I can get a good infusion shield, or not, uh, a good adaptive shield, that could go the distance for me. I think I am going to do like max health scaling regen with grenade spam, or at least for mobbing rounds. I don't see reason not to. You know what I'm saying? Bucker number two coming at you. And a red chest that I didn't pick up too. Let's go. I do have stripped the flesh, so TDR grenade chucks might come in handy. If I get Hyperius, I might just say, you know, screw it. Let's just chuck a couple SMGs at him. Alright, final bucket. Let's go get our loot. I could get that red chest up there. Don't think it's worth my trouble. But that's that's the, those are the kind of decisions that end up getting me, end up losing me the run in the end. Longbow test might be a little bit safer. That booster shield is kind of nice. Let's keep rolling. Ooh, tough decision to leave that launcher behind. It's just a nice launcher. But here we go with the Saturn fight. This is not the most amazing fight in the world. I watched this video. If you if you run up to that chest, it triggers Saturn right away. So I would kind of rather be in some more cover when I spawn him in. Let's switch switch to something corrosive, like this sniper. And I'm not sure how much grenade cheese is going to help against this guy, but we can at least give it a shot. I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to switch over to the scout for my damage. And I have assault rifle gun damage with a Gatlin gun as well. So if there's ever a time for a Gatlin gun to come out here, I think this guy's armored though. He might resist. I guess we'll find out, huh? Okay, let's go for some slag. I'm not sure if slag shows up on this guy or not. Stuck behind cover. That trap, you're doing a great job just straight up tanking the boss right now. And where's my Gatling gun at? There it is. I'm not sure if, how much damage I just did, to be honest. I was watching that smaller health bar instead of the bigger one. Gatling gun does pump, it really does. That trap, thank you for everything you're doing for us. I can just sit right here.
And I can work. I can actually just sit here and work my trigger finger. It's very slow, but I'm working on it. Forget about the accuracy, brother. You're already aiming downside, so you can just rip. Right? Okay, that's my worst performance of all time. I don't know sure what just happened there. Maybe it doesn't let me shoot that fast. Uh, I'm not sure. But this is a fine fight. Okay. One or two more volleys. This guy's done. Completely gone. Rinsed. There we go. Easy. Not even have bore. A longbow stormfront might be honestly better than the electric chair. At least for offensive purposes. This. Right? Honestly, isn't it? The blast radius is higher. And I don't think you can damage yourself with it. And there's no reason to check now. Yeah, if I stand on top of this, I, that that would have damaged me. So it does. It, it works the same. Got it. I think it works the exact same. Just with a different, a different projectile than the electric chair. Could be wrong about that. Someone would know in the comments. Feel free to let me know if you can. Okay. Mm. I think we do cook enough trouble for even more health regen. Some more fleet. Good. Grenade spam could be our way out. Just that a lot of the bosses resist grenades in some way or form, shape or form. Order shield. We do have a, a trespasser. That could be good against Pyro Pete. Very, very good. Bypass the shields entirely, which the shields aren't really the problem. But I find the Trespasser even does well. Regardless of the shield. I don't know. There's something about it. I feel like it's just broken for that fight in general. I'm not sure what it is. But I'm ready for it. See, the one thing that is... That... Death Trap is kind of bad for. I feel like it is a Pyro Pete fight. Because he does... He drags Pyro Pete over to him. Making it a little bit harder to land crits. But... It is what it is. Let's roll. I saw that Jolt Dude also put out a community poll. To see... Like what people wanted to have changed. Um, in Rogue Glance or something like that. And I haven't put anything in, anything in. I don't know. I've got a baby maker, so I'm definitely going to lean heavy into that if I have the chance. And then we just max grenades here. Yeah, let's roll. If it's Hyperius, we baby maker spam. Okay. If it's Hyperius, we baby maker spam. And what we could also do is use boar. Which, it's like, which one's more fun? I think boar is more fun to go for. But let's start with a little baby maker spam to start. I, I need, I need max damage. Hmm. None of these. The TDR recoil doesn't matter. It's fine. Let me go for. This doesn't matter. And just baby maker it. I would like to strip the flesh for this. Don't get me wrong. The explosive damage would be very nice, but this should do a decent a chunk. There we go. We soften him up. Now, after, after we soften him up and not take damage from this bad Larry, this is when we respec and go bore. So cooking up trouble, I think, is a must here. Expertise actually probably makes a little bit of sense here as well. No kill like overkill. Let's go headshot. Hmm. I think it's this. This is a tough one. Let's increase my max health. 
Now, this is smaller, lighter, faster for sure. And boar. Now, is there anything else that can help me with this fight in general? Yeah, let's get a little bit of... A little bit of interspersed outburst. And don't get hit by anything. And let's just start using singularity grenades. To pull these lads in. Singularity. Longbow. 0.7 second fuse time. Perfect. Go ahead for your volley, guys. Yep, do your thing. Zero chance if you ever hit me. I'm a, changed per I'm a changed player. I will never again get hit with a Hyperius minion volley. Alright, let's see if I can get them all stacked up. And what's going to be my actual weapon of choice? I think this Gatling gun will do just fine. Is that a good bore angle? It probably was. Probably should have taken the shot. Couldn't really tell at the end of the day. Okay, let's do it right here. There we go. Let's go. We are absolutely built different when it comes to Hyperius nowadays. Absolutely built different. One shot. One shot. Hello. Dude had no chance. No chance. The baby maker, I'm sure, came in help handy at the beginning there, chunking his health down. But then, boom! That's just what I do. I said in the beginning, it's boar for bossing. Boar's a fun mobbing tool, but it's not, I don't think, as efficient. Is it just all Seraph crystals? Are you for real right now? I better get something good. Blood of the Seraphs actually does fit in with the build that we are going for. Can't be can't be too upset about that. So as much as I like having boar for that fight, I'm not going to be continuing with boar. In fact, I am going to be respecting right now. Into what you say? Well, I think that the the HP regen build that we had going earlier uh, makes a lot of sense. Extra grenade damage, onslaught for a little bit of you know momentum, and then I think it's fleet. I think it's embraced the pain at the end of the day. But I think cooking up trouble. This has something a little bit extra we're looking for. Because I do want to get down to to healthy. Now as far as the middle tree goes. Insight makes sense. Scorn make These all make sense. But I think I'd rather have the, t the max HP earlier. So honestly, I think that the skill gets a little bit of a bad rap. But movement speed while aiming. It's kind of goaded. Especially when you're rocking something that you want to be accurate with. Just saying. Alright, let's roll. Weapon swap speed too is big. Large. Okay, so there's a little bit of something going on with this. Someone posted in... in uh, on Jolt's dude's post about what to change about the game, about this this uh, room locking you out. And I did have it lock me out the 1.0.8 patch one time. Uh, so I, I think it still can happen, but I don't think it happens very often. I think it was just a fluke incident when, I, when it happened to me. I shot... That, that thing with all different kinds of weapons. And it was not registering the, uh, me shooting the target. That one's fine. I, I kind of like that one. It's a nice little jog. I didn't do, I didn't show you guys the, the Easter egg in the room. How about Invader? Okay. Are we anointed now? I mean, not that I'm the biggest fan of the invader. But are we anointed now? Dang, we are getting lots of different kinds of snipers. This one, this the invader only shoots one shot. One shot per shot. One bullet per shot, I should say. That trap you get out there, I'll slag you back. How about that? Okay, that's not horrible damage, to be honest with you. I, I could really just need to... 
keep shooting it and aim for headshots. It's a regular sniper. It's not... It gets accurate as it goes on. That's when you gotta hit your headshots. That's how the invader works. It's a really good sniper if you use this way, I think. Doesn't it doesn't consume that much ammo? I mean, you might be like, well, you're low on sniper already. We've already killed also killed six enemies. Sniper ammo, especially uninvested early game, is very uh rough sometimes. Especially because I'm not getting prioritized. There we go. The movement speed, though, is ridiculous. Um, I could go with transfusion here. I actually, I have singularity grenades on when I should just probably put on a... A storm front or something. That's an electric chair. That's fine. That's, that works, too. Okay, I'm out of ammo. That's fine. We roll. Five more points. Let's drop them into this right side skill tree. No kill like overkill. And I would say increased crit damage starts starting to make a lot of sense if I'm going to be rocking an invader. But I'm going to say five or six shots. Okay, let's see. Cooldown rates, shield capacity. Mm, okay, we're fine. The cooldown rate is nice, don't get me wrong. But it feels like that's more of like a... a like a have death trap do lots of melee damage type build and not really what I'm looking for. I should probably throw on this Blood of Ceres Relic instead. I think that makes a lot of sense. Going for the pressure plate up top, for sure. For sure, for sure. Even though this can't get me, you know, the, the, the uniques and all that craziness yet, it's still going to be worthwhile to see if there's anything good. I mean, we're still rocking this Gatlin gun. Or we were just a second ago. Yeah, we are still. Assault rifles make a lot of sense, and this one's times two, doll. Okay, let's roll. Maloko? Mm, no thanks. I just, I'm not the biggest fan of the Maloko in general. I don't know, something about it. I can maybe use it in a stage where, you know, it has advantages, but let's not die in this stage right here. Very difficult stage. I think I've got a decent corrosive option, do I not? Not really, honestly. I could maybe make her spam. I don't have faith in an SMG to do it for us. I thought it was a Jolly Roger, maybe. Right? I don't I have a corrosive Jolly Roger. Chilling somewhere down here? I do. Gotcha. Found you. I guess we just take the cooldown right then. Alright. You're gonna wish you never mess with me. There we go. Swap to my Gatling gun for this guy. And I need to reload it. That hurt. Come on, health regen. Give me... Tap me back up to full, would ya? Oh, death trap. Absolutely winning that duel. Boy, now you want to hit me? Wait, what, what's wrong? I, I'm not the one who caused this problem. It was you. Alright, take some more of that. Malawan damage. I, just, I can't get behind it right now. Ooh, I could get behind something like that, though. Let's go. Yes. Okay. Who needs corrosion when you got explosions? Come on, baby. Uh, now that that trap's gone, let's let's use that as an excuse to say that we were planning to use our grenades later. Okay, those lads on the left should should die here. Pause here. 
GG. Grenade damage, what can I say? I just equipped that. I'm pretty sure I equipped it that. No, I didn't. Ow, don't zap me. Grenade damage can, can get you places. For mobbing rounds, especially. Mouthwash, be, I would be ecstatic to receive a toothpick. Ecstatic. The well, pressure plate's also back there somewhere, I think. Alright, what do you got for me? I think the pressure plate is back here. I think it's on top of one of these containers. Yeah, it is. It's back here. I remember now. We climb it like this. I probably can't get over to the other side from there. On top of chest. On top of here. Walks carefully around. Bada bing, bada boom. Don't worry, baby. I'll take good care of you. Diamond FaceTime. All right. Let's roll. Let's roll. And the torment. All right. Let's let's keep it going here. I would say five or six shots and healthy. Plus 24% sounds pretty nice, to be honest with you. Let's roll. A lot of max health. A lot of max health regen. It's the best part. And for, for offense, we're going to try to, you know, utilize boar as much as possible. And I can also get explosive damage scaling on this Ravager if I wanted it. At any point. Later. And by later, I mean stick around for a while. You seem pretty tanky. <laughs> Not to the headshots, though. You're not... Nice. Remember, a lot of my damage comes from... Comes, comes from my grenades, so let's make sure that we incorporate those into our playstyle. There we go. I should honestly just probably use an invader. Time to sit back. Let that trap do stuff. Let my grenades do stuff. See ya, kid. Oh, Goliath. No shot. No chance. This guy, if he starts dotting you, he's a he's a, he's a pain. And he's gonna start doing it, because I'm gonna run out of ammo. Invader! Nice damage. I do a little bit of spam. A little bit of spam. Oh, that guy's gone. Is that an arrival? I'm basically no damage skills, and this invader is doing pretty nice. I lost my I lost my onslaught there, so it is what it is. Oh, we got an, an evolution coming in. Oh, good slam, good slam. Eliup, brother, Eliup. Oh gosh. Come on, give me that reload. This is, this is my kill. Come on. This this is like playing League of Legends. No, he cheated. No, I got it. That's all, that's my 10 years of League of Legends experience coming into fruition right there. Oh yeah, all the only thing you gotta do in the game is last hit the minion. Uh, let's go for doing some damage. I don't see the reload speed. Probably much much nicer. Yeah, I also have insight I can take in one of the trees as well, so. The reload speed should not fall behind here too badly, or anything like that. Breath of the Seraphs is nice, if, but it doesn't make any sense to, t to take that over like the one I've got now. Breath of the Seraphs only lasts for a short time after going down. It can get you out of a pickle. If you can, if you know that you're going to go into a death spiral, maybe attaching it uh, can save you from that death spiral. If you manage, if you manage to get. Like, use it between fight for your lives. That's a tough task to ask. There's another pressure plate over here. If you guys just... If, if any of you guys ever need, like, a guide where all the pressure plates are, literally just, just spam watch the vids. You'll find them all pretty quick. Most of them. Okay, Chinook. That's a pretty underwhelming drop. Pretty underwhelming zone, to be honest with you. That's okay. You're not always going to get the best zones. 
but we don't have damage for the zone. And that, to me, is, is very frightening. Don't think the invader can get it done. Don't think the ravager can get it done. I think the Gatling gun is the only thing that makes any sense here. We're going to go for a little bit more damage. And that's why right there. That dude. That specific lad. But really, it's it's any of the witch doctors. But particularly the, the blood witch doctor. One that can heal Jen off you. That one in particular is not fun. I'm tanky. I'm good. And they drop grenades for me. Let's see, is that guy, has he lost any health at all? No. That's fine. Just run on over there. And with that trap, him and I together, we will... Oh, that disease witch doctor is healing a bunch. We will work together. We need another grenade. And probably even another grenade. But he now he's dying. Good. Thanks, that trap. Appreciate you. It was a team effort. It's like it took you long enough. I was tanking one of the hardest enemies to tank in the entire game, brother. Got you. I had to deal with my own problems. I'll see you next time. Dude, the death trap sometimes forgets his purpose. That the okay, kid. This guy counters me. He counters me. Hundred percent. I've been using a lob storm front the entire time. That's fine. How about a homing fire B? I haven't changed, man. We grenade spam. Oh, not good. He's using his, his movement tech already. Not good. Run for my life. He won't do his movement tech for a bit, right? No movement tech. No movement tech. Gotta do what I gotta do. It's a gotta do what I gotta do moment. Please tell me that does some damage to him. I got a little bit of gun damage. Yes, it actually it did do a lot of damage to him. He's in trouble now. Yes, let's go. That one was without without death trap too. You just threw 13 grenades. How is that? <laughs> Why are you so proud? Just for this run right now, we are defensive based. Those guys don't care about your defenses. Getting through as, as many of those enemies as possible. Because I can't choose... The, if I could choose an area not to go to, it's this one. Okay? Not because it's poorly designed or anything like that. Because it's difficult. Okay, honestly, there's another red chest back there. We skip. We definitely skip. And then Tesla grenade, grenade can come back here. Let's just go electric chair. We don't even have to play aggressive here. We can just wait for the blood tail to come at us. Do a drifter egg over here. Sick. The Gatling gun definitely does enough damage to get us there, I would say. As long as I get my distance, maybe even slag. Oh my gosh. That actually felt kind of bad. So, I wish it would have been over faster for you, buddy. I'm sorry. He gives me an orc. I, I don't... The orc has special properties that I don't know exactly how it works. I should probably go read up the wiki um, for a second and go see. But a corrosive damage orc could be interesting. We also get our second payout. Homing slide transfusion. An adaptive shield. Take that. What I've noticed also with the with the dragon fight in boar is that you really do have enough damage with boar if you as long as you have it and by the time you get dragons. I don't know. It just it just feels kind of overpowered to me. Yeah, All those extra points and cooking out trouble. We'll make this better for any other weapon that's not an assault rifle. Alright, so now we got boar. I mean, we're not going to be able to get down to the, these by the time we get to the, the boss. So let's go for... I mean... 
Accuracy without gun types. Underrated skill. Underrated skill, though. Let's rock. I take accuracy. Helios Fallen. Okay. If there's time for an orc to do something, it's right now. If the orc was ever going to be good in any situation ever, it would be right now, right? Surely? I don't want the assault rifle damage relic on. What do I want? Dang, I actually don't. I got bandit fire rate. Let's try the bandit fire rate. Let's go. Whoa, already. Uh huh. Starting early this year, are we? Okay, keep tossing. Destroy him. Oh, the boar damage. Okay, get, if I get some more of that, that'd be nice. Okay, not bad, actually. What about against a regular loader? Really not bad, actually, at all. Looking for boar spots. Pinging all over his body for boar spots. They're right there. Looks like when the turrets are up, you can bore. Okay, let's get our gun skills back. No, hey, don't mind if you do. Or I don't mind if you do, honestly. Okay. I'm not sure where that fire rate's coming from. Oh, it's from... What was that fire rate even from? I'm not so sure. We, honestly, we can just keep raining it down on him. Maybe even slag if it's possible, which I'm not sure if it is. There we go. That should be it. I think the orc did just fine in this fight. I think we got a lot of boar damage. In the beginning there, which is to be expected for the beginning of a fight, honestly. So I'm not going to really hold it against it that it went that way. This is now the second time that I didn't get my ethereal... Uh, reward box. Oh, I forgot what the name of it is. Ethereal something chest reward. The ethereal something something. But this is this now twice in this fight where I haven't gotten it. And I feel like that one wasn't even... Like, there was nothing that strange about that kill. That just seemed like a pretty simple, regular kill. Per Blaster makes a ton of sense with this build. You got a rifle damage. Do we have Smart Loader faster? I think we do. Yeah, we can get... We can turn off a, a... That's a really nice skill right there. Accuracy, and now we can take splash damage as well. So we can we can scale up this Cure Blaster with the Mouthwash Relic. Now, the Cure Blaster obviously does struggle with overall DPS, but it's just, as far as I'm concerned, I haven't really seen it pump out a bunch. That could be a problem with me, not it. Let's go. On the tier, or onto the raid boss. Honestly, there might be, we have to put the kibosh in the whole plan here, depending on what raid we go up against. I'm looking for something that can really juice up my run, and don't worry. I know where this... I know where an Easter egg is. Okay. Jolts thinks he's really funny. <laughs> but here you go. Okay. A Nukem instead of this bandit one? I think so. Something good, please. I mean, the bear cat looks nice. I just doubt its ability to do any damage. I'm going to take some more assault rifle ammo here. Mm, yeah, let's go assault rifle still. And this is a little bit of a variance right here. A little bit of a variance. I wish I had done more pulls at the box, but it is what it is. Okay, so we're going to... The Kablaster is nice for this, I would think, but if it ends up not being nice, we can always swap over to, say, this this Renegade. And that should still give us a ton of extra damage. 
And let's not mess around with the different kinds of grenades here. Let's just get something that can transfuse me right back up to full as quickly as possible. This one's a times eight. Let's do that one. Don't have a real good way to slag. You can only be slagged momentarily. Do I focus on it? I don't think so. I could try though. But maybe a little bit early on the death trap pull. By a little bit, I mean at least five seconds early now. Yeah, that's a, that's a big throw. Right, I'll try to. I would. I'll, I will try for all the fans to do real quick slag swaps. Okay, I got off like f two bullets. Okay, because I, I do get people telling me that I, I should be slagging more. I, I'm gonna go for the fastest slag swaps I can possibly do. I slag swap. Got off one bullet, two bullets, one bullet, two bullet. This is not, in my eyes, it's not worth a death trap. I need you to fight the fight, my friend. Why do that? And I can just rinse him with this. I'll get that boar damage, too. Yeah. Oh, he's gonna close the gap on me? Death trap, this is your moment. To not abandon me. Ooh, this fight's gonna get tough. Ooh, that hurt. Maybe I should start throwing some nades here. Yeah. If he swings again, I'm dead. Ooh, I live though. Not even close. Do I have anything that's higher damage? I could go Unkept Herald and see if that works out for me. And slap on this Sheriff's Badge. Go a little bit aggressive, maybe. That's a grenade. Go for some boar. Okay, I think that went. I think that went okay. He didn't like how I did that. He didn't. He, he didn't like my. Yep. Yeah, he definitely did not like my tactic swaps. He was like, I liked how this fight was going before, not liking how it's going now. Well, brother, you did this to yourself. I had nothing to do with it. I wouldn't mind hitting some back targets with Boar here. I'm kept Herald, you know, I do use it often, but I use it often for a reason. It kind of gets the job done most of the time. Oh, here we go. Big, a big tanky lad. And just send my Boar shots through. Boys, it's Boar for bossing. It's Boar for bossing every day of the week. Let's go. Hector's Paradise, do not mind if I do. Although, I don't think... Yeah, I don't think the explosive damage is going to help this one, unfortunately. Okay, Might of the Seraphs or a Hawkeye? Gotta be Might of the Seraphs here, I guess. Not the best loot, but we roll. We did cheese and was born an unkept herald, so... Realistically, can we be too mad at the game? No. I've, I've never been softlocked on this one. Not once. Well, honestly, when I get softlocked, I'm like, okay, game. All right. Respect. You're, you're still doing things. You're still putting up a fight. I think I honestly do need a gub. Can I have a gub, please? Thank you. I want this one. I want it. But is there ever a time to try out this? To try out this a Kerblaster build? It's right now. Okay. I think that if we one if we have fleet and a ton of healing regen, I think we might actually have enough. Heals to keep us alive during a dragon fight. It's not, it's not guaranteed or anything like that, but we're gonna find out right here if I really got what it takes. Um, let's go for the assault rifle damage. This could blast her. Need a little bit of death trap action for my life. Hope you don't mind. 
He, that guy was persistent and he actually got he got off where he needed to get off. Oh my, there's no way. No way this guy ends the run for me. I can throw grenades, I can throw grenades. You, I found you. Nice. Right, it's just a bunch of flying enemies, that's, that's all. That's all that happens. Fine, good chill. Oh, you're trying to, you're trying to flank me. Absolutely not. I have a little bit of explosive damage boost right now. I'm sure with the flesh. Aim a little bit higher. There we go. It's like a peak opener, but like way worse, but still the same idea of you can blow everything up. If you hit your shots. Maybe I would like accelerate or velocity on this thing, but is it's fun to use. I'll tell you what. It's definitely fun to use. And more. I need only three kills here. It's not bad damage, honestly. Okay. Got him. Let's go. Toss, toss a, a couple transfusion grenades. Do I really need them? Probably not, but... They're gonna help me actually chunk these guys down. We're fine. Power loader right next to me. That's who's do that's who's hurting me. I don't I can't afford to focus that other lad down. I focus on this guy and then bada bing bada boom. We got it. One of the harder mobbing rounds completely done. Like it wasn't even there. On tier three. Just saying. I dropped this bad boy down. A uh, sheriff's badge that's slightly worse than my own. Tempting. That's the end of the day, not very. Alright, a Fire Jolly Roger or Bane? I'm thinking Fire Jolly, Ro Jolly Roger all the live long day. Flicker is nice. But so is the Lay Waste. And in Berlin, mobbing round one. I think we take it. Flicker is definitely nice because I, I have interspersed outbursts, which gives me that slaggy slag. On my first shot, I have five stacks of it right now. But... Common Appeal doesn't do anything for me, does it? No. But it doesn't always slag, and getting Flicker might really, really help that chance to slag. And I wouldn't even need Scorn, realistically. Even though Scorn is very, very nice. Let's rock Hector's Paradise for a bit. It's, I think it's strong enough on its own. I don't want to really be running around with a Deepa. Holy cow. I was getting so much bore there. It feels like no reason. This is a perfect opportunity to run a electric chair. Okay. And I have mouthwash on when I should be having my sheriff's badge on. I guys realized that I compared my sheriff's badge that I got last stage to the to the the, the armor the assault rifle boost from mouthwash. Ho ho ho! That that, that field rat has lots of character models. They're overlapping at one another. There we go. I'm trying to wait a second longer just so my interspersed outburst can can proc more consistently, but it's not really worth it at the end of the day. Alright, let's grab this. Sheriff's badge, never punished. And deputy's badge, definitely never punished. A sunny blockhead makes some sense. But I'm happy to have insight now. It's gonna give me even more movement speed. And reload speed as well. It's kind of the key, I feel like. Is to be fast. And, I mean, I wish I didn't have to heal in this game as much as you do, but... I'm not good enough to prevent it. Alright, let's roll. Uh, is Where is the... Is, is there a pressure plate on this map? Because this is tier 3 and I really want to be making use of pressure plates. I want to go look around for it. I'll see you guys in a second.
while I was looking around, I ended up getting dropped a second electric chair. Not taking it, though, for pretty obvious reasons. It's just worse than my own, but... We roll. Okay, so I got this high vantage point, and it looks like it's sitting right on top of those containers. The question is, how can we get on top of these containers without grenade jumping? Is it is it the chain? Oh my gosh, I never even considered the chain. You jump on top of this chest to get onto the here, and then jump on top of on this chest to get up to here, and you chain it. And the rewards are grandiose and extravagant. Okay. Decent relic for the right situation. Ah! It's just not good enough. It's just not good enough. I think a world burn, though. Let's roll. Okay, got a couple... One more chance, two more chances to see if I can find some more pressure plates. Oh, gosh. This stage, I'm not so sure. And I'm honestly just terrified to be fighting here in the first place. So... Gosh. I'm kept Harold Michael hard here, but... I still have my... I still have my... Hector's Paradise class mod on, or a, uh, Relic on. Let's actually go for the Deepa. I do have the, the most synergy with it, with Strip the Flesh. I don't feel bad about using it. Even though I do use it a lot. Oh, actually, you know what? Let's just... I think this one is... Juso's Candy? Oh my gosh, I live. Let's go. Okay. I'll be sprinting around the corners when I come. Let's wait. Don't do it. There we go. If I destroyed that hot loader, I would have been dead me, I think. There we go. Play smarter, not harder. Extra shot chance could be fun. Landscaper or a trespasser? I think a second trespasser, but we didn't get power repeat this run, so. Less of a thing. Yeah, we could go two fang on Captera, which is nice. Scorn is an obvious take. I think two fang makes just too much sense not to take. And then we're gonna start getting into some ridiculous stuff now. Nth degree to crit ricochets off of Boar. I mean, I, I mean, it just makes a lot of sense. Nth degree plus Boar makes a lot of sense to me. Because you never know, when you're shooting those models, you never know what surface it's hitting. So the fact that it can ricochet and go through another surface... ...or two, or three, or maybe even a lot more... ...has a lot of appeal to me. Pressure plate is down there. It's an absolute must-take at this point in the game. This is our payout. This is our getting to tier three, mobbing round payout. Another world burn. Powered stats, damage is higher, magazine size is higher, you know me, for launchers, that, that, that does the thing, it moves the needle. Anti-faction, sure. Explosive fastball, sure, but again, that's, that's a little bit more of the loot that I'm not looking for. At this point, I'm in the market for high-powered weapons. Either way. We're, I think we're looking fine. Of uh, 58% max health relic. I don't think we are going to take it. Because if we do go a defensive relic, we already have the one we want. It's like the, the Breath of the Seraph or something like that. Let's climb here. This is not going to be a good zone for... For the pistols. I think what we might honestly just want to do is anti-faction. It's anti-faction this whole map. Is this guy with one? If he decides to behave like a normal person, but I guess that's not possible for what's going on. Okay, here we go. So as many grenades as I can. Maybe even apply some slag. Get Mad Dog up in the anti faction. If there's ever a good time to use it, it's right now. Right? Surely. He doesn't he doesn't like to get doesn't like to get damaged though, I see this guy. He doesn't he doesn't believe in it. He's not a getting damaged enthusiast. Okay. I do have a lot of options as far as other weapons, like fire damage weapons. 
but I think Uncapped Herald should do the trick here. As it tends to do most time. I thought for sure that there was no way I would have to fight enemies after the round's over. I do not take my magic missile. Come up here to steal my loot. Saw the anti affection down. Only one more kill required, but I'm I'm taking lots of damage. Here we go. We're fine. Hmm. The rep the weapon accuracy and reload speed is nice, but I already have a, a decent version of it already. Alright. Let's pop the, the Tina Bombs. I think Tina Bombs will be worth it here and farm out the stage. Anarchist, gun damage, weapon accuracy. This doesn't have enough. It doesn't have enough other things going for it, in my opinion. Hmm. I think at this point, maybe it is fleet. And then nth degree. Is it when I take more points into it? Does it when I take more points into it, the nth degree? Does it reduce the amount of bullets? So does it go like nine, eight, seven, six, something like that? Uh, I'm not so sure. Okay, we roll. Let's shoot that second bomb. Nice. I think clearing out the stages now is, is very important. I do feel like the loot might be weighed heavily more in round three, but could be wrong about that. Or in tier three, -ish, tier three, I should say. Like the red chest might have better loot. They might not. That could be a figment of my imagination. I don't have the better half as far as that skill goes. So every time I see a class one with it, I'm like, should I take it? Should I not? And it's like, probably not at the end of the day, brother. Shiny guns, but not good guns. Okay. Let's shoot this tiny Tina bomb and we'll be good to go. Heading into the dragon fight, hopefully soon. Let's see. Take a little plasma caster action. Corrosive Tapnia. I like it. I like it. Let's roll. Now I already have too many launchers. <laughs> the layer of infinite agony. I think what we might want to do is a is world burn spam could work. Saw bar could be good. I think here. Let's equip it and let's let's try it. Assault rifle damage, assault rifle gun damage. Yeah, I mean I shouldn't be using these other <laughs> these other class mods while I have. While I'm using like an uncut herald. You know I could be getting a lot more stats from other things. All right, anti affection out. Let's just see if I can saw bar, saw bar this girl. Yeah, I think. I think giving, putting her right in the middle of that splash is doing quite a bit of damage. Quite a bit of damage. I haven't, I've never actually gotten the saw bar to be like, you know, really good. And I think that this could be a, a boss fight where the madhouse, but not the madhouse, the saw bar really comes in handy. Looks like her, her hitbox is just about perfect for what I'm looking for. And I kind of need a weapon like this just to kind of, you know, carry me through this. Get a reload off while we can. Toss a couple anti factions out. I like fire specialist fights. It's, it's some of my favorite fights to fight. Oh gosh. It's just stuck into cover here. I do not want her heal juice to come over here. I have slag in the form of scorn now that I forgot about. So I can just slag like that. Oh, heal juice attack. Run, 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 run. We have insight, which is going to give us that bonus movement speed to run away more efficiently. There's boss right there. Whatever. If you hit me, I'll become faster than you can possibly imagine anyway, so. Really enjoying that. 
uh, damage right there. Okay, there's the heal juice attack. Does she tag me? No, she does not. She does not manage to tag me. Let's get reload off while it's efficient to. Okay, aiming down sights. Might not be the best move there, but... Happy with how this fight is going. Very much like the saw bar. You gotta play with the right range, though. At this range, it's not so great. You gotta get a little bit further back. You really gotta be in that in that that damage zone to really make use of it. It does do it's just a wave of of mayhem, realistically. It's like that craziness. All right, anti faction. Scorn. A heal juice, heal juice. Don't get hit, don't get hit. And we survive that. Right back to DPS. Maybe pick up, pick up a kill skill if we can. No, too, 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 too hard to pick up one kill. There we go. Kill skill. Scorn. Let's back up like regular here. And then we run for it. Run, just run for it. She still has it active. Oh, she doesn't hit me though. Bad player. I have a green power up there. I see it. And you know what? If I get actually do get hit by this tag, I might as well just finish off the fight like this. Punch. I can't because of scorn. I can't because of scorn. Uh, you know what? This is a respec angle. Run. Punch. And this was the last time before dragons anyway. So we were going to respec no matter what. He's shameless. He's shameless. True. Right, there's my B shield. I'm actually completely full. So we did not get a moxie weapon. This, by the way. What does that mean? That means that if we beat this, I can officially say, along with Jolt's dude, that I've could beat it more than once without any moxie weapons. Is that fair? Fair deal? I knew it. This can end my run, if I'm not careful. I have god mode though, right? Yeah. Using all my ammo on this guy is not really what I want to do. Let's get a reload off. We grab some extra pellets and just one shot him. Hey, thank you. Appreciate that. I had a feeling there was going to be a guy in there, but thank god for the 1.0.9 update. Just abuse it. Use it or lose it, brother. I'm going to start looking around now. I don't trust Jolts and Pyrex anymore. I don't trust them. They put they put these strikes in weird spots. So I'm I'm curious to see. Yeah, I have to shoot this curtain every time. Okay, I'll do it once more. There you go. All right, what do you got for me? Something like a shred of fire that can definitely do some work for me. I'm gonna drop a bunch of stuff. I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, this is gonna be a pretty big one. Boom! Nice. Okay, so shred of fire makes a lot of sense to me. Slaga doesn't really, unfortunately. Last mod is not really what I was looking for at the end of the day. Um, I really do think it's hit up the box for some better weapons. What SCUs don't we have? Well, we can only do one more pull anyway. Let's use the last 98 for it. Oh, yes. Asking you shall receive. Let's go. Okay, we use toothpick plus B shield plus boar. Let me go to the moon. Save a little bit of ammo. So here's our here's our build heading in. Assault for gun damage. Mouthwash. That's that's our damage. For sure. Anti-faction grenade. Swapping out for a... Longbow transfusion corrosive until... Until... Let's use this one first, because we're going to be fighting Brood first. Toothpick primary. Something to get an enemy down. Something accurate. Something that can ding from afar. I think the Baby Maker does that job just fine. Alright, for the build. Boar is a must. So we must take it. And Asbestos is probably up there too. Crit damage is a must take. I say cooking up trouble is important. The max health is important too. Smart loader faster, obviously important. The kill skill really isn't. 
it, it it's just it does not do it for us. It actually gives us a point to put into something else. There we go. Accuracy with all gun types. I'd probably take that. I would say lay waste makes more sense than anything else there at that, at that spot. Okay, so this is where it's going to get a little bit tricky. I don't have as many points as I want to get all these skills up and running. I think we ditch Onslaught for... Well, here's the thing. I actually don't want Embrace the Pain because I'm, I'm rocking B-Shield. That makes my choice pretty easy there. And we go two fang for extra shots here. I think that might do the that might do the trick for us. Now we're gonna aim for aim for headshots, and our shield is gonna be the B. All right, let's rock. Death trap, you gotta soak some damage from me here, bud. You gotta soak some damage from me. When death trap goes down, we go into full. We go into full. Let's get, wait, is someone death trap in over here. Okay, he spawned. Now don't shoot until Death Trap gets aggro. Hopefully he gets aggro before me. Start zapping away. Start zapping. Start zapping. Be a zapper. Okay, looks like both fire and and what's his name are aiming at me. Okay. We are alive though. That's one thing that you can say about our run still is that we are alive. Okay, he comes down. Get big damage off. Get big damage off. Yes. Yes. Okay, down goes green. That's pretty simple. We will execute our plan to perfection. Let's get blue down here. Is anybody down here besides blue? Nope. Blue is still very much vulnerable to this attack. Scorn out. B shield procs to the face. Pray for B shield. Pray for boar. <laughs> B shield and boar, maybe? Okay, down goes Frazier. Okay, we do need to toss an 8 out. And this transfusion, this corrosive one, is probably better. It, it has more pellets that go out. Yeah. It's officially better. Now, boost. I'm not too sure if I'm liking what you're doing. Whatever it is you're doing, I don't trust it. But that was boar plus. Yeah. I, I think if we shoot through the wings, it becomes... Pretty simple. Now, this is going to be a, a little bit of a harder fight because this guy resists fire. Anything else I can use to make use of my B shield? Multiple pellets. Do we go? Do we go right back to the well and go for my Gatlin gun? I don't see a reason not to. Where's my Gatlin gun at? The one from the very beginning. Who brought us here? Who one tapped Hyperius? Okay. Now we just wait. Now we just wait. Don't get damaged. Ah, oh, I didn't get damaged. That sucks. I need that. I need, could really use Death Trap out here, honestly. I'm thinking about it. That way he can tank up some of the stuff for me. I can get my B shield back. Okay. Not some, that's not really bad boar damage at all. I'm going to wait to use that trap until the next time I get this big guy down here. Because he's going to leave soon. He's going to leave soon, but we are doing just fine with boar. But next time he comes down, I'm going to have Death Trap ready. And honestly, I think it's time to just get rid of this dude. He's going to do me more more harm than good. Alright, coming back down. Wait, that's actually a big waste of Death Trap, honestly. Is that damaging him at all? Doesn't seem like it. Pretty big waste of Death Trap right there. Oh, got to keep running. I live. Oh, I don't live. Shoot. And this dot to get off of me. And then I need my B shield to come back. Come back, brother. There we go. 
No, don't, don't. Oh, I did too much damage to him. He's pissed at me. Not before we get off some decent damage, though. And, and we have reduced enemy dots, which is a big part of what... A big part of what's making this beast shield come back to life here whenever it goes down. Let's get some scorn going this time. Now you don't have a chance. I'll skip the damage up while you're in the air. I don't see why not, homie. Alright. This should be absolutely free. As long as I don't die to his... his fire pit shenanigans. Keep him scorned. Use my B-shield while I can. Get a quick reload off, please. I need a little bit faster on that reload. And there we go. Woo! That's a good run right there. Very nice run. Took us some time. We took our time. But that's what it's all about. Make it to the very end. Hour and 26 minutes is not amongst my fastest times ever. But a really, really clean final fight. Toothpick from the very last box pull. Kind of goes crazy. Okay, and there's, there is another Easter egg that... This is one of the ones that I'm shocked that I didn't see. One of the ones that when, when Jolt's... Pointed it out. I felt like this is the first one where I thought I caught a stray. Uh, whether he meant it or not, was the one in Sanctuary Room. And the second one was right here. Come on. How'd I miss this? And I think th there was something down here to shoot, maybe? No. Oh! Oh my gosh. Why? Why would you do this to me? Oh my gosh. It's a trap. You're down here. You're down here with this guy and he can one-shot you and kill you. No, he can't. I'm I'm too strong. This this is a this is a, this is a, a cruel trick. That's a cruel trick. Wow. And you get stuck down here. You jump through this? So there's no way out? What if, I'm, what if I'm really smart? Can't jump through it. Okay, well. Unless somebody knows a way out of here. That's going to be it for this video. Thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed, hit the like button. Subscribe to see more videos like this one. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!